Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we look at Underverse episode 0.4, the season finale. I don't really know what we're getting into here because last time around we went full possession of ink by Gaster, or maybe just working with him, I don't know, and I know my comments explain this. I have been very much ignoring them because I don't want to spoil myself for this specific episode where I'm pretty sure everything is about to hit me in the face, and frankly, I'm really looking forward to this. So if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up and let's get started. Okay, so we're just dropping into the intro sequence, unlike the last episode where they skipped a bit of that. I wonder if that's because they were trying to build up more to show the shift in tone last episode, or a false sense of confidence here. Is this, here, is this going slower? No, no, it's going at the same speed as before. The various hearts showing up the characters. Whoa. Wait, were all those flashes in there before? We see the eye fucked up. Yeah, I don't remember this. I mean, maybe it was there we got error, of course. Ink looking really fucked up. Car is that Frisk or Car? I think it's ah, whatever. I don't know which version of Sans this is. It almost wants to look like original flavor Sans, but he looks way too great out. Ah. Were these in the opening episodes the entire time and I just missed them? I'm just... So we went through Undertale here. We went through Underfell already. Next should be Underswap. Okay, so it is outlining the entire first season, isn't it? And Outer Tale is where we're at now because the last episode showed that. Ink and Fresh. Era, who's just freaking... Uh, poor Frisk, I'm actually surprised about. I thought they'd have a bigger role at this point. Hmm. Still want to know more about the other characters in this opening fade in. What? Oh, yeah, we're coming back to this point. Ink looks. He's got that behind him. Tying him up all the. Huh. They reanimated this, did they? Because I think this wasn't what it looked like initially. Oh. The half human, half empty soul. You cannot see me? I've been watching a long time. X event. Gaster speaking? It's Gaster speaking, and he's bleeding data. <laughs> I accepted you. I had a very good idea. Okay, I just realized he's in inks. No, not inks. This is where error just went all out after the previous under novella short. So that wasn't non-canon. That's explicitly canon. Good to know. <laughs> Didn't I execute right from the beginning? Is he talking to error or ink? <laughs> look at what you've done. Why does he look so good? The best of one universe with the best of the others. What would happen? Why is that cracking? Is it gas coming out or ink? Wait, he's melting? I have to fix your disgusting mistake as always. Putting under quarantine the timelines that you corrupted will work for now. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening? This. Oh, so it's not even just the half and the half heart. You can actually see the black seeping into the rest of the human heart there. But it's the monster, so it's his. And also, the actual container of it is changing as well. It's being overwritten, it seems. Oh, assistant. He doesn't look like he's in good shape. Wait, what? Oh, he can summon them. You know what to do. They actually have independence still. Do they? I'll do my best. Back. I'm glad you're finally back, Lord X Gaster. Oh, it actually is X Gaster. Honestly, I was just calling him X Gaster the entire time because he's the X Tail version or the X Event version, whatever that world's called. I didn't you know in hindsight it actually makes perfect sense that would be what it's normally called considering the naming convention a lot of AUs. So he can call them in, and they are still self-aware. How is she gonna fix this? 
Oh! Wait, is that Corfrisk with Papyrus? I thought they were going to be let to die. Why didn't you go with them? You acted so strange. Pretty sure that's Corfrisk talking because we didn't have that very robotic tone before it. Honestly, I thought we would not see these people again. I, I literally thought Underswap Papyrus would be just written out and we just have to be left not knowing his fate. Admittedly, we had the short between them, but... I'm kind of surprised. You know I can't help you this time, and... The Omega... No, wait, no way to take you to the Omega timeline? About to collapse, you don't deserve... Why can't he go to the Omega timeline? Tell me it's really worth surviving. I can't take this anymore, kid. I didn't want to see my brother die in front of my eyes. Nothing matters anymore. The rules of our universe have changed forever. None of us can fix whatever is happening out there. A reset might, but... Why is it so hard to live in this thing? Whoa, he's glitching harder than the universe itself. Was it going full? Yeah, it's Xing out. He's actually corrupting. And no, he just deleted. Even the locket's going. And there's the purple, so... And Corfrisk is crying. Black tears. They did all they could to save their timeline. Uh, that's not ominous. Odd choice of the glow on the eyes being bright and golden as opposed to a cold color like the rest of them. Pass of his timeline 122 the universe under swap. Nothing left. Yeah, because they took everything. I can see some fragments of code were sent to our home. So they are aware that it's their original one. This is a disaster. All because of the human's bad behavior. I don't know. Wait. Although all this will end soon. He actually looks even worse than earlier. Frankly, I thought he was the antagonist the entire time, but... Maybe I completely misjudged him. Considering the extremely over-the-top spikiness, I figured normal edgelord rules that the more spikes you have, the more evil you are. But... He seems to be not trying to fuck it up. My initial assumption, of course, is evil, like I said, but... Hmm. I'm definitely missing information. Exhale will probably fix that when I see it after this, but... His motivations are different than what I expected significantly. Is he cares that this was even wrong because he brought her in. Never forget what he is doing. He is quite angry. Truly comprehend your pain. Do you? Oh, she still has eyes. Cross, I'm sorry. We were in big trouble because of that child. Huh. I thought the eyes being blotted out would just be a thing, but no. Glowing paper? And goes purple. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, they're flexing a lot of animation skill on just the effect here. Going white? Did she just take the remains of the world onto a piece of paper? X. Quarantine executed. What? Quarantine. That will prevent this alternate universe and all its timelines from being corrupted. So it's only this one specific instance of it that's quarantined. They're actually not destroying it like Error would or creating new things like Ink was. They're literally pruning the ones but not destroying them. They're just putting them in a box. By that logic, do they have an entire binder of quarantine universes that are all the equivalent of saying, hey... <laughs> Digital WMD for all the AUs? That seems like a plot device that will be coming up later. 
Hmm. Does Corfrisk interact with them, considering they're omniversal? The people from Exhale were good, but now they have an insidious intent. Were! Another timeline affected by the X event has been detected. I'll be heading there immediately. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking the audio. This was a destroyed timeline, so it might be good to quarantine, but... Poor Frisk looks... This is Snowden, yeah, where the section was missing. Insidious intent. Pacifist timeline number 13, alternate universe underfell. I'm assuming the insidious intent was Core Frisk's dialogue. Honestly, because their boxes look the same, the only difference is she has the beeps where Core Frisk doesn't. It's kind of hard to tell. The insidious intent is interesting because it doesn't feel insidious because of the dialogue we see with them. But I guess from course uh, Frisk's perspective, it would look more insidious because the entire thing just went down to a sheet that she contained and took away with her. It's just an empty... What would they call it? I don't know. What's she about to do? Also, damn, I kind of want this soundtrack. The X event only took a few code fragments from this location known as Snowden. It's snowed and I just got Unlike the other AU, its inhabitants have not been corrupted by them. The rewrite. Oh, and war is with them. Just creeping on them. I don't know exactly what happened, but... Oh, this... Seriously, how does she look so threatening right now? She's literally just a slightly spikier version with the eyes blocked out. Huh. Maybe that would do it. Also, I just need to say, I previously thought this version, Underfell version of him, Asgore looked the uh, coolest and most intense. Then we saw the under novella, and frankly, god damn, Asgore with rippling muscle and chest hair is legitimately one of the most manly versions of Asgore I ever thought I would see, and god damn, it was cool. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that. What is that must be doing there? Another of those pale intruders. Shoot, there's a lot like Alphys. Kinda. But somehow more intimidating for the lack of color. Hey, you, intruder. Have you come to cause more trouble in my kingdom? Probably. Consequences well, don't accept or confess. Just the lack of reaction. You got until the count of three to explain what you've done to this part of my kingdom. Because they don't know because Cross left with their version of Sans. She's gonna break him immediately, isn't she? Three. Gaster involved? Oh, she has the X there as well in the eye. He's the X timeline, yeah. Oh! Not what I was expecting. You know, early on I was asking for information about the rest of the people in the fade in. Apparently, we are doing that now. One, cool. Two. Her eyes, the one that came revealed, and we saw the other eye wasn't like that. What is going on? Wait. Eight? Oh. Your Majesty, kill the weirdos, torture the imposters. Yeah, because they're super edgy. Earlier, the purple card had an X on it. I thought that was just an X because X event. But that card has the Roman numeral for eight. So that might not be the Roman... That might not be an X, but it might be a Roman numeral for ten. Not what I was expecting. Now, also, the fact that they're drawing him holding such a weak, completely lame, underpowered attack here... But you can see then on the counterpoint, he's struggling with it. There's actual strength put in there. So the animation shows that this is not effort for him. You can also see how much they're shaking. Oh, oh, oh. I hate such rude people. Interrupt me at work. Oh, he's speaking through her, isn't he? Get rid of them, Metaton. 
this place would be formatted from scratch after the quarantine anyways. Oh. He has a freaking lightsaber! It's an actual lightsaber. Frisk? Dream? Wait, what? What is happening? Many positive feelings are fading away. Because they're multiversal, they have all awareness everywhere all the time, that's why. So she's not just there, she's everywhere. I wonder how well she can split her attention. Cool that we see them in the other Snowden here. So the insidious intent from the outside looks like they're literally just destroying everything, a la error. But they're not, they're containing them and then formatting, so I guess that's a hard reset. So this is the monsters with the reset options. Oh, I need to watch Hextail after this. And the music changed too, yeah. Much more light. About to face something more alarming than Cross. Cross never actually felt evil. He felt desperate. I could sense three souls. Wait, wait, wait. With very strange feelings. Three? Metaton, yeah, I forgot he was there. Just saw him too. Affected victims to the Omega timeline. The timeless. The timeliness affected by Cross are drastically damaged. Timelines. Wow, I can't read today, apparently. Huh. Those strange beings are putting them under quarantine. And they're even putting in purple for it. They want to prevent the corruption of the X event from spreading. But they're doing it in such a way that is really damaging in its own right. Hmm. So she understands what they're doing. They're acting in quarantine. She's not stopping them, and honestly, I don't know how much of a fighter core for risk is. If they can, my passing knowledge of it is just that passing at best. So, antibody response almost? Destroying things that are infected, even if they're sometimes too good at destroying things? I'm not sure. All affected timelines? Does it mean that... Oh no, sans. Oh, because all of the characters we've been following, all of them would be affected. Everything Cross did will end very soon. Yep, because they're all reformatting it. And all the people will be more or less annihilated. These damn arrows are made of positive feelings. Positive arrows. I just realized what he did. Dream literally shot him in the face with the power of friendship and light and sunshine sprinkles. I mean, yeah, nightmare is bad shit. Dream is good shit. So, of course, his power would be good. I just... You could basically say he got punched or shot with an arrow of kitten fluff. There's a whole host of jokes in there that are all dumb, and I kind of want all of them. Also, the shading on Nightmare is significantly different than before. Animation upgrade? Interesting. Or maybe it's just the setting. I can't tell. Too much faith in you, stupid human. Well, stupid is accurate. Oof. You could not cause enough negative feelings. It's not my fault you let your guard... He's glitching out, too? Stupid octopus. I can't. I can tell you're lying. Don't try to hide it. You're not using all your potential. Can he? You still have mercy. It is Cross, not me. He's still part of my soul. Cross is not the only one to blame. Both of your hearts are still pure. So if Gaster and the people from the X event timeline, or the X tail timeline, are purging anything, sorry, quarantining anything that's infected, is that just the things that Cross has, or that the human, I guess their version of Kara, has used rewrite on, or anything that's dealt with them? Because they're reformatting everything. Would that put them into a position where they're going to intentionally try and reformat Nightmare? I have no idea, and I don't want to think so, because I don't think Cross has used anything on him. But 
I don't know. That could be interesting. <coughs> and his is red because of the determination. Holding back like you did in the past. <coughs> Good children cannot change at all. Eh? <coughs> he was spared at the beginning because you never wanted to hurt others. What? Wait, wait, wait. Gaster had overwrite. And this is back when Gaster didn't look nearly as melty. But he's glitching here. Yeah, and there's the more malevolent version glitching in. Oh. He was paired with being a beast. Didn't want to hurt. So they had a chance to stop Gaster before he went too far. And they became this one. Which is weird because the current Gaster seems... He didn't come off as malevolent when he was actually talking. But goddamn, do they make him look malevolent. I need more information. Hmm. Whoa. What the... You were so attached to him that you preferred not to do anything. Who are... Wait. Is that adult Kara and Frisk? He overwrote them into children. Oh. What the hell? Why? Oh, wait, what happened? There was a different... Did something come in that last second? I would normally not even tell, but every now and again, they do hide individual frames. Okay, this one looks like a general glitch effect. Okay, nothing hit in there that time. Soon you started losing your mind trying to stop him. Mo! Wow, what the... Wait. Ten. So it's not the exit. It's, oh. Oh, so the X that everyone has isn't so much just an X for a cross. It's X for the Roman numeral 10. So it's not the X event. It's the 10th event. Which is also a crossover because they're playing around with it in every way possible. How many different forms do they have? I'm just going to jump back a bunch here. And let's see. Okay, we got one there. First one. Which is them happy with flowers. Which is admittedly adorable. We got the second one as a teenager. And the one is fading in. Him as an adult for two. Back to being a kid again after the rewrite for three. Being a really fucked up, determined teen who's more broken. Five, which is him with a bit of the power Gasser took somehow. I don't know enough about that for eight. Oh, no, sorry, that's six. And there's seven and eight, which is him going full corruption. And then just fading into ten. So he didn't change per every individual world. What is going on? But you can see the path of corruption there. Your negative feelings toward Gaster became the strongest among all neutral and genocide timelines in the multiverse. After Ink and Error made their stupid truce, that caused a reduction in new negative feelings. Wait. If that's the ghost Kara, and there's... X tail or X frisk. What happened to X tail frisk? Because they haven't actually been in here except for really this episode in the opening cinematic. Hmm. What was Gaster doing? You've been watching us all this time. Because you were part of a show. Probably literally, yeah. 
But of course, do you think you already knew how we work in the multiverse? Or do you think you already knew? <coughs> hmm. Since you've caused quite the commotion in some timelines, I'll give you the chance to live. <coughs> We're going to... Wait. We're going to a genocide timeline now. You will have to work very hard for me this time. Admittedly, they might end up accidentally causing positive feelings there, so... That'd be funny to see Nightmare accidentally do a good. I don't think he will, but it'd be funny. This episode doesn't seem like it's going to be going that way, though. No? Oh! He's flat out saying no. You helped Cross get what he needed for this world. Now you must take me back to Ink to get the vial he's hiding. It's an order. I don't think you get to order around Nightmare. He's considering it. Oh, so you forgot to read the small print of our deal. I'm offering my help in exchange of your freedom. Now you belong to me. You never said anything like that. Didn't I tell you? Oh, how rude of me. I don't care. He's actually flipping him off. Asking for more is very, very rude. So, yeah, be rude. You'll work for me. If you do resist, well, we know what's going to happen. The heart, yeah. I need the other half. And the darkness is seeping in. What's he considering? The fragment of the soul I took is vanishing. What is happening in those pacifist timelines? He's glitching out heavy. Yep. The entire thing is reformat. Pathetic and useless. I don't have time to deal with you. Nevertheless, I need more staff. You have staff? I mean, I saw the one animation with it, but... Your new partner will keep you alive until the X-Event thing is over. Who's the new partner? What? What the? Say hi to your new friend, Killer. Oh, Killer sounds I heard about this one. One of the servants who's kind of fucked up. <laughs> so it's you. The thing you did really hurt. What? I haven't done anything to you. <laughs> Are you sure about it? You invaded my home. You tried to steal my soul? <laughs> what? You tried to manipulate everyone. Even your own sons. What an insolent kid. What? Why is he dripping ink? You're not that sans. Stop pretending we've met before. <laughs> Sometimes we can know what is happening in other timelines that belong to the same universe. Oh, so he's an AU of Vanilla Sans. Okay, not an AU, an alternate timeline of it. <laughs> we are just slight variations. Alternate timelines, for short. <laughs> An anomaly from the main universe. Changed forever by forced decisions. And his variation is that he has two toned colors in his writing. The top half is a faded blue. The bottom half is the white. Okay. Oh, that's fucked up. In my case, your original version forced me to kill everybody so I could feel something new? Wait. Your original version? What? What? The rewrites. So he doesn't just remember alternate timelines. He remembers overwritten timelines. Not restarted, not abandoned, not moved, but rewritten. So forcibly cut and redone. And it's his original version. So at least as far as he knows, what happened in the first game probably was what made Killer. Oh... Congratulations, alternate universe trash. You have learned something interesting today. Enough talking. We're going to see your friends. I need to have fun for a while. And if he knows that, then Nightmare definitely knows that. So he probably understands his entire event pretty well. Hmm. Would that put him into conflict or support of Exgaster? I don't know. 
tacit support. Hmm. And if they're going to a genocide timeline, they're in the space version. Hey, it's not so bad. Your brother did it to protect you. Wow, that version of Sans being a helpful. Are you sure you wouldn't feel like this? If the same thing happened to you? You would hide it more. Well, I. It's not like my brother's too nice, but the virus had never done anything like that. Never seen him so resigned. Was that really him? Or were they the ones who made him become that? Really? A hair comb? It's probably something in the actual game. I wouldn't be even surprised at this point. The guy in white did that. To you too, right? The overwrite. And I felt very sick and mad under their control. Are you sure that wasn't normal? For anyone else, maybe, but... It was like I could feel the same as them. Those feelings became stronger when I saw a very strange guy smiling, though he didn't seem happy at all. Yeah, you saw him. I saw him too. He actually helped me fight that evil human. During our battle, that kid was persuading me, saying that one of us doesn't really have good intentions. Oh yeah. This is about the same person, about us, Sans, isn't it? We never do something bad. Eh, whatever. What do we do now? Any ideas? Ink is gone, again. Wow, he does do that a lot. That guy is too weird. Yes! Yes, he is. Staying with him only brought us trouble. Read it. We don't want any part of this crap anymore. Don't think you have a choice at this point. I'll go look for him. If you guys don't move, that's fine. Just make sure no one sees you. Hmm. Wait, are they all in space themed clothing too? Oh, jeez. What's he gonna say? Just one world with the best of the others. Just one universe. That's what Cross wants, but that's also what Gaster is intentionally destroying. Also, the subjectiveness of what is best, so there's all of that. Hmm. That was an interesting interaction between the three of them. The obvious one being kind of figuring out Ink is weird, and yes, yes he is, and he's very... Uh, he has hidden boss vibes as far as I'm concerned. But Vanilla Sands, he's interesting. How to put this? In an earlier short, you could see deflection is how they were using humor, and it was between multiple different Sands using it, showing that that's what he's doing here. And I think he's doing it again. As soon as he said, well, I'm going to go look around. He's acting like it doesn't matter. But then he immediately starts reflecting on it when he's apart from them. I'm almost wondering if he's not the vanilla Undertale Sands. Because... It's just a random thought. It's probably completely illogical at this point. But it just feels off for some reason. I don't care. I have already have enough tension at home. What tension at home? Your timeline was the pacifist that ended. Look, a meteor shower. Oh, damn. Well, well. Is it an imposter or a visitor from outer space? Hey, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Why is his hand got a glowing thing on it? Space stuff. Is that a joy buzzer? Two joy buzzers? Oh my god. It's even better. It's fart buzzers. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> Double heart buzzers. Uh, do we know each other? The name's Sans, just in case. It took me a while to explain. I'm actually kind of in a hurry. In space, everyone wears yellow. Have you seen someone like both of us wearing a different outfit? Oh, sorry, friend. I could take a look around, though. My lunch break's... Wait, he has a lunch break? My brother, Papyrus, has been insisting a lot on how a human will soon get here. Wait, what? I don't know nearly enough about Outer Tail, but why would Papyrus know about that in advance? I thought it was basically just regular Undertale in space. Capture one, and I must help him, but honestly, I'm not that interested. Interested in that? He wants to become a royal guard. He looks pretty motivated. That's why I'm helping. I like to see Papyrus happy. Even Undine has been training him, and... Lucky? Who, me? The stars. You can see them all the time. Really? I mean... It would be sad that anyone had to conform with, you know, artificial ones or something like that. <sighs> now that... That is a flex. Because normal Undertale not actually having a sky they just have the artificial stuff because they're all underground that's why the under parts there and him just going yeah space pretty awesome <sighs> yeah trust me not everyone out there has a chance to something like this they, wait, what did that last part say they would they would dare to take your place to steal your happiness because that's what he's been going against. But frankly, it's just... What is going on in his timeline that these thoughts would occur to him in the first place? Because he's achieved that already. He's outside. He's in the good timeline. And it wasn't corrupted either. Except he was. Part of him was taken by Cross. Gaster might actually send people to go and quarantine the initial version he came from, too. Considering that would be the foundational Undertale, would that affect everything around it? I have absolutely no idea. Well, the sky is big enough for everyone. Anyone is always welcome. After all, I'm not the owner of this world. Well, someone else might try to become one. Not until you become it by accident. Hey, I think I found him. It's that guy right over there, right? No? That's Killer. And that's them. I thought this was supposed to be a genocide timeline. Because he's causing the genocide. Whoa. What the? Don't move. Don't tell me you're the one looking for him. Are they the ones? Hell no. Just don't interfere like that. Because then he gets drawn in. I told you. A file. Not an ordinary soul. If you refuse to take it, I'll kill you. I'm sick of your tantrums. Yuck. If I were you, I wouldn't touch those things. Error is getting directly involved. Whoa. I can see you still miss your original soul so much. Wait, what? He has the original soul. Okay. Because he probably has the other timelines. And his initial soul was half determination, half probably Gaster overriding it. But, unlike the other version when we saw Gaster's inflection on a soul, there's still this regular soul outline to it. Where the previous version early on didn't seem to have that. Huh. Probably why it is his original. You. Yes, him. Are you seeking attention? Seeking for attention again? How oh, funny, Nightmare. Actually, I'm very busy, but I wanted to ask you something. Where is Ink? Tell me now, damn it. <laughs> Since he stopped taking his... Wait. Since he stopped taking his vials to have feelings, I can't detect his presence. I wonder if he's trying to get something over on Nightmare and possibly Dream by not having feelings intentionally.
but also that might backfire because then he's willing to do things that he normally wouldn't with feelings. Huh. But you can ask those two over there. And they were found. They saw us. We have to leave now. Whoa, more animations for terror. That's probably not good. Hey, other me. You will never disappoint your people, okay? What? <laughs> Just regular lasers. We never asked to be in this position. You don't know anything about me. Did he die already? No other me, what's going on? We must get out of here. What do you do this time, you idiot? That's not your business, anomaly number 13. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Okay, so error is already over here, and why anomaly number 13? Everyone's heart strung up by no error. Including theirs. What are you doing? Ink, friend, thank goodness. Please get us out of here. Probably not going to. Ink? Do you really think I won't turn the entire multiverse into garbage because everything you're doing is just a simple game? I mean, he's kind of already on his way to doing it himself, so you might not need to. It's called... Wait. It's called the X-Event Error. I don't give a damn about what it's called. Hmm. I'm going to destroy everything, including your stupid anomaly friends. Is he, though? I have a feeling he'll be stopped. They're not my friends. The son of... Betrayed us! No, this has always been his idea. He pretended to be a hero, just to gain time to stop having emotions. To gain time and stop having emotions. Why, though? Who is he trying to kill? Because that's what he mentioned. That's, I, there's more information I'm missing. Why? Having feelings will only affect his plans. Those vials and carries in his sash allow him to feel. But that purple vial, it doesn't belong to him. Does it belong to someone else? Yes. But does it belong to Gaster like I initially assumed? Does it belong to Kara, Frisk, or someone else from the X timeline? Because everything purple seems to be going to them in this version. But who? The creation exists in the alternate universe. It grants me what I need to be able to feel. As if I had a real soul. The soul of my friend. The soul of my friend. So it's probably Gaster because Gaster was his friend. Can create anything so I can feel new things from now on. Yep. It's time for him to come back. And that's why I don't need any more distractions. Stop ignoring me. This thing is making you even more stupid. I have a feeling that won't matter. Oh, he's actually bleeding. What happened? How much damage did he just take? Watch out! Oh, shit! We're getting an actual full-on fight. And they're being made to fight him, too. Yeah, because Error has the control. He's bleeding. Ink. And the... He cut them, but he cut not just this. Oh. Okay. One, this is really interesting, the way it's been done here. You can see he cut everyone, but he cut all of them. He feels pain for some reason. I'm wondering if that was a gash on him from Ink. Nothing damaged here, nothing damaged here. Odd choice. I think that cut was already there, but the expression of pain is different. I'm honestly not sure who to root for on this one. 
air blasters. Nightmare's just enjoying this. Or is it... X car is soul in there. The brush is broken. What the fuck? Is that a corrupted ink? The eyes. No. He's going back for it again, but... What was that? Yeah. And he has the same crack. This isn't just corruption. It's the same corruption that Gaster got hit with because it has the same cracks forming and the smile stretching beyond the boundaries of their actual defined face. Okay. Hmm. He's definitely channeling it hard. Trying to get it. And oh. Okay, one. Did he just... What face did he have there for a second? I think... Uh, we can't quite see it. Is that his... Okay, I know this is going to sound weird, but for some reason I keep thinking that's him sticking his tongue out. I know it's not, but that's what I'm seeing. It just, yeah, it looks like he was just drawn going... Nee. It's not. I really doubt that, but it's in my head now and I can't get it out. What? Oh, it's all the other nails. The bone nails. What happens if that breaks? And he has it! What? Oh! Dude! Honestly, the animation is so much more chaotic this time. I just want to take a second to reflect on just how insane all of these animations are. They're doing this really interesting thing where they're moving incredibly fast, but then holding to let you see what's happening, to draw that second out. Like, watch this. Just this moment of reaching for it, and then a sudden fast movement. Sudden slow reach, and then the sudden fast movement, jumping around. The timeline of how they're moving things here is actually a really cool way to let you focus on specific details. So it's actually a really unique animation. Normally, when you have really fast animations, it's meant to be more fluid and flowing all the time, so things are always in motion to look more organic. This, though, it's very much mechanical. It's one, two, punch, up, down, left, right, Konami code for something. But it's that entire idea of you're going to have a sudden flash and then stop to recognize what happened and then moving on. It's actually really unique. I don't think I know anywhere else off the top of my head who's used that to show what's happening in a fight clearly without having to go into a slow-mo because we're getting the sudden movement and then the slow-mo constantly at a very steady pace as opposed to doing the Dragon Ball Z thing where you just have things that are blurred so you can't really tell what's going on or you slow them down to say, oh, wow, this is what's happening if you could perceive Tim at this speed. Yeah. I think that's personally a cop-out, but this is a really interesting way to do it. Ah, uh, here we are. An ink is stained and cut up. You're not supposed to interfere. Wait, what? You're not supposed to ever intervene like this. You're supposed to wish to protect the AUs. If he had emotions, he might. But he wants to do something that would involve not doing what he would know is right with emotions. What is he after? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Earlier, all of the blood and ink coming from him was actually a different color. Or more specifically, the rest of him was shaded in such a way that it didn't stand out as an actual blot of ink on his face. Hmm. But right here you can see the cut and it's very much just black, empty ink with his name making sense. Nice little detail there. It's not shaded, essentially, is what I'm saying. Or shaded the same way as everything else. It's just kept one constant dark shade. That's what I'm doing. You're the ones who can't see beyond what the multiverse is. Are you? After all, there are thousands of alternate versions. Pacifist, neutral, genocide. Damn. Thousands of timelines inside their own universes. Why even worry over only a small fraction that has been affected? With him, I can see more new possibilities than a simple... It's going a little faster. Normally that's not the problem, but now it actually is. Simple alteration in a timeline or universe. 
Everything will come back to normal once I feel satisfied. When I feel bored, I'll start this game all over again. And so this is interesting. Cross or C being kind of annoyed about it. Killer is just like, eh, cool. The reaction I'm surprised about is Nightmare just looking bored. Because he's probably aware of it because he can feel all that. It's like, yeah, yeah, so what? Who cares? Hmm. <laughs> this will be the perfect alternative to keep the balance between creation and destruction of the multiverse. Infinity. <laughs> You're freaking psycho. I shouldn't have negotiated anything with you. The point where error looks more reasonable. Oh, man. You won't enjoy these new possibilities if you can't feel anything. I won't be like this forever. But when you start to feel, you might realize you done fucked up. But you're also still inherently selfish because you want to still feel and you probably value that more than doing the right thing. So it might still work out that way. It's just that... I don't want to regret it now. Don't want to regret it now? It's cross with this. Everything down. Is this where they met? Or before when he was involved with Gaster? Hmm. Almost looks like he's crying. Is this because... See... Banished Cross? What happens now? Holy and Gasterin. Much more solid, too. Oh. You entrusted your own soul to Ink, trying to survive somewhere in the multiverse with just a fragment of determination. And that's why he was melting. He actually had determination involved. That he probably took half of... from his version of Kara. Or even some of it. I'm glad to know how scared you are of me. If you're expecting me to join you in that game you were talking about in my dreams. Referencing that. Let me tell you something. I don't want to play with you. Oh. Do they care, though? Such a pity. Auto-translation? In that case, we will continue on our own. The inkbrush? That was already broke when he got back. Hey! What? Oh, he can do that too? Of course he could. What do you think you're doing? None of your business. They just manhandled error. Like, he literally just tore up all those AUs, and the entire thing is, we're done playing. That is, uh, moderately terrifying, and just random Gaster reaching in and grabbing it. Because they could at any time. And yeah, he did shove his soul, half of it with ink, and the other half into C, whose soul was then taken by error. So he literally broke up his own soul. He did a successful Voldemort. And now he's not melting. And his is gone. All my efforts were for nothing. I'm supposed to never lose. Why? It's not fair. It's not fair. And he's just gone. Why are you crying, Okara? Oh, we knew this would happen. You have a lot of potential but you still have so much to learn. Rest and watch. Since you are not going to apologize for everything you did. What? They all have spikes through their hands. What the hell? What? He's showing them their worlds, including his that no longer exists.
the dream eater thing. Showing people exactly what they want. And their souls are just gone. They have seen too much after all. Oh, those worlds that helped me to come all this way don't deserve confusion and suffering. They deserve a last chance to be perfect like I wished. Overwrite. Just one universe, made of the best of the others, and I know how to do it. So he hated Gaster, so Cross or Kara hated Gaster for how he was doing it. But they had the same goal. But one was to rebuild their world, and Gaster's was to make his own. So even though they were going about the same job, what they were actually aiming for was different. And he hated Gaster because he just kept playing around. Probably because he was never satisfied, because perfect is very subjective. I will forgive you this time. At least I hope you use your determination wisely when I ask you to. And he just randomly overwrote their soul to be fixed. And as for you, still doesn't have legs, still moderately overwritten, but more in shape than the previous shows. None of this was your fault. I know it's hard to persuade you, so I will let you choose if you want to join me or not. All of them have the locket. So it's the cards. A card for all of them. Because he probably overwrote them to be perfect. Asgore, Asri... No, to oh, there's Toriel in the background. Huh. All of them are looking at him, some mad, and Papyrus is the one looking away, facing away, but actually looks sad about this. What cards are missing? I'll let it try and go up a little higher. Take your time. We will be waiting for you, Cross. What happened to their version of Frisk? What's Have going on up here? Really found in the dark. I know you're so no, seriously, what is going on up here? We're seeing a fight that I don't remember animated. Is this... Is this the fight with everyone else while the main people we are watching are fighting? This is in the side, isn't it? Okay. The fight between them. Cross is here fighting. What? So this is the afterward. Okay. What is going on? Dream is throwing cross. And Nightmare is just watching. Because he's just letting it. He's annoyed. Because now they have cross back. Core. They're in the Omega timeline. Maybe? Or is anywhere. It could be somewhere else. You know, there's a lot of things I was expecting. Fully SCP on this. Going full on, this is the problem with reality benders. Probably should have been one of the expectations I had, considering how things were going. But it wasn't. And seeing it all come full circle of, okay, this is a gasher who wants to make a perfect world. And if I have to destroy and fuck over everyone in the process, that's just an advantage because it's fun. Ink is going along with it because he wants to just do new things and he might get his reason to do that. But also because this is his own selfish desires. Nightmare is just along for the ride. Killer is just along for the ride because of one of the previous worlds that Gaster was involved in and that Kara forced him to do some horrible fucked up shit that was then overwritten so it never happened except he remembered because there's echoes across timelines. 
and because that's Sans's ability is to be aware of fucked up shit from timelines. Oh, there's so much going on right here. And all I'm getting the feel of, it feels like the entire first season was the prologue to what's about to slap me in the face next. And this one was already slapping me in the face a, a bunch. Honestly, at this point, my face is just going to be black and blue all over because something is just taking a giant meaty plot line and slapping me with it constantly every time. <sighs> There's more I want to check out before going on to the second season. I know I need to go check out x to get a lot of the information that came out at this point. But there's also the epilogue, and I'm not sure if I want to put that now or as a refresher for when we move into the next season. I don't know. Also, I don't know where to get a good playlist for Exhale itself. I need to look into that. So if anyone knows, let me know, and I appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm going to just go and try and figure out what the fuck I just experienced because there's a lot going on. I want to know more. <laughs> Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.